Hey guys, what's up? Still here from my couch in Dubai. Sorry, yeah, strange enough, I do not have a table here at home. But with that said, let's dive in and see what is going on in the markets. So starting off with the dollar index, dollar index yesterday quite rangy. Uh, we of course did see kind of like that dump in towards the downside, kind of grab liquidity underneath this low, and since then has pulled back back up in towards the upside. Uh, overall today, it's a US holiday, um, so there's not much probably gonna be going on with the dollar. So just keep that in mind when trading. Overall, you're yeah, still just looking for a dollar index to hit down lower, back down into what's this area of demand. So now let's dive into Aussie dollar, uh, because Aussie dollar, of course, showed a pretty interesting move yesterday with that pullback back up in towards this area of four hour supply after the baseline rejection of this bullish candle over here. So, of course, we saw that initial bearish reaction. Uh, we did already, I think, yeah, with this wick over here on this bullish candle, tap in towards the demand zone over here within this bearish candle, because remember, Inside this bearish candle, we pretty much created an area of demand because we saw this big sell before the bigger buy back up into what is demand. Of course, this demand did not achieve anything, but we do know that the overall daily time frame is still bullish. And overall, yeah, the daily is looking good to move up higher and potentially take out this area of supply, which did not achieve anything. So just keep that in mind um, when trading Aussie dollar uh, at the moment, shorts do not really look that good uh, especially if this four hour candle close closes bullish overall what you would have wanted to see um, from this area of supply so of course the doji candle before the big sell-off is that this low would have taken out all of these lows over here right and then um, pretty much just provide us with a structural break because this low over here took out this high so this is now your high this was your low as we can see, of course, push back down in towards demand, push back up. So overall, and this demand zone, of course, took out the structural height. So overall, this supply zone did not achieve anything, and that's why we're just stalling, but not really seeing, um, yeah, like kind of like a, a straight out dump back in towards downside. So overall, uh, if we do want to see downside, um, pretty much kind of like the last means um, of resort is kind of like a liquidity grab above this high and then a potential dump. That could happen then if we see structural change, for example, close back down below this low, then you could look for further shorts. But otherwise, I do anticipate, uh, and if we do kind of like see that big push in towards the higher level of the overall supply zone, then I do expect us, <coughs> excuse me, um, to further continue in towards the highs and see supply get broken, especially also if this four hour closes uh, as a bullish engulfing on this previous bearish candle. So that's Aussie dollar. Um, yeah, that's Aussie dollar. Then Euro dollar. So yeah, Euro dollar, of course, also pretty slow overall with the holidays going on. Still looking over here at the daily time frame, of course, for overall pattern completion. Going back in towards the four hour time frame, four hour is still very choppy and indecisive. We have this area of demand which played out. Um, at the same time, we're kind of stalling inside this yeah, supply, which is located inside of this wick. Um, if we look at the 15 minute, it will become more clear, or maybe the one hour, I'll just dive into the one hour in a sec. But if we look at the overall, um, at the 15 minute time frame, and we draw in our 15 minute zone, this was kind of like the doji candle right over here, which caused price to push in towards the highs once again. Uh, coming kind of like in towards this buy before the sell, that's of course what caused, caused uh, the overall drop back down. Um, if we also look at this specific wick, the wick tapped into this last, did it just not, let me just see, yeah, it just did, uh, tapped in towards that last buy before the big sell-off candle, um, so yeah, just kind of like price is stuck in between supply and demand. Um, this low over here filled to have price close above this high, and at the same time, um, yeah, kind of like this high did get spiked, but we're not really kind of like seeing that, yeah, let's say, a confident push back in towards the downside. Um, overall, looking at structure, what we can say is that this was your low, this was your high, this high got broken, so this was your low, this is now your high. So overall, we are still bullish on the 15 minute, and if we do see for the downside, um, and we do, let's say, push back down in towards these lower levels of demand, I will be looking for longs if we see that change of character there, uh, and then uh, look for that further upside once again. But overall, the yeah, the 15 minutes just kind of like stuck, uh, not that much going on. Quickly diving in towards the one hour as well. 
it will become a little bit more clear and then you can clearly see that this area of supply this last buy before the big sell-off is kind of what's holding price back and at the same time this overall sell before the buy was what was keeping price up so we're just kind of like stuck into uh, in between supply and demand not really any clear bias um, overall if you also look at this four hour it's kind of like just messy all I know is that there's liquidity above these highs above this trend line and I'm looking to catch that we already grabbed liquidity underneath this low tapped in towards this area of demand and this area of supply with these liquidity highs is still free so I do still anticipate on the fact that we're going to push up higher on euro dollar so yeah quite the explanation explanation but I think you guys understand pound dollar so pound dollar still stuck in this area of supply not much from pound dollar still looking for that for the downside from this overall uh, bullish to sell so this area of supply back down in towards that area of daily demand uh, quickly diving in towards the 15 let's see if we have anything interesting over there no not really um yeah not really anything that interesting kind of skipping out on sorry guys i have to renew my subscription uh kind of have to look um you just wait kind of on pound dollar there's nothing really that fresh um, that i'm really a big fan of preferably one more sell off in towards the downside take out this low tap into what's daily demand tap back up take out this high which broke this low pull back look for longs so yeah let's be patient with pound dollar kiwi dollar on the other hand uh, more interesting moving back up higher um, as you guys know yesterday i was waiting for this low to go uh, because for now the bullish order flow is still holding up here on the 15 minute time frame for kiwi dollar so overall um yeah we're still seeing bullish order flow take out the high take out the high um so this low pretty much this low pretty much so yeah let's just see guys we could just pull back then again react to demand what we need to see is of course structure breaking and then we're going to be looking for those shorts in towards the downside once again so despite me saying on the four hour that price looks good to move in towards the downside as long as we're not seeing that lower time from confirmation i am not acting upon it so for now just waiting for us to see those bearish intentions for that push back in towards the downside because there has been some liquidity built above these highs and we do still on the four hour have ultimately kind of like this highest buy before the big sell-off um available with supply inside of there so let's see let's see let's see um, we need to see some bearish intentions otherwise we could start moving back up higher into overall um, yeah, the premium of the overall four hour swing range look at the daily as well we do still have this daily area of supply which is fresh this buy before the sell-off so we could still kind of like grab that with this liquidation uh yeah right below it so just keep in mind that if we do push up higher and kind of like see that bullish order flow get into market again uh, the four hour being bullish etc um, you just keep out your eyes because we could move back up in towards those higher prices but for now still bearish let's just see what the 15 minute does we just react on what the market provides us with overall dollar yen still waiting for that uh, level to get hit of 145 179 dollar swiss um, yeah of course saw that big sell-off which i was mentioning yesterday this was kind of like the only trade really out there um, beautiful 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 reaction to supply from this 50 minute zone over here exact tap and sell off gonna like this push down pull back in towards this buy before the sell and then further sell off not really an entry provided but if you do take kind of like 15 minute risk entries it was of course a beautiful trade um, with your entry upon kind of like the, the beginning of supply and then targeting of course this beginning of the sell towards the buy for four point 38 risk to reward um so yeah and what i kind of also liked was the overall structure on how we came in towards the area of supply because you guys know i like my channels so we kind of had this one two three sell off so on the five minute especially there was also very nice entries with as you can see order flow really doing its thing over here boom so this could have been kind of like either your first entry or if you want to kind of like the, the less risky option, just take this one. So yeah, five minute really did its thing over there. Um, yeah, so beautiful trade on dollar Swiss if you took it. Then last of all, gold. So what did gold see yesterday? Well, gold is looking good for some higher prices to take out all the liquidity above these highs and move into what's this area of four hour supply. So I am looking for long on gold. Overall, we tapped in towards, of course, that daily and four hour area of demand, which I've pointed out for some time now. 
and now it looks like we're going to be grabbing the liquidity above all of these highs and tap in towards this buy before the sell-off so let's look out for our 1946.70 next um, that could be next for gold so yeah let's keep our eyes out for that so yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in once again i wish you all a fantastic day and yeah sorry that i'm here on the couch still i'm going back to abu dhabi tomorrow so i will see you from my desk again then thanks guys